Hello, liberating souls. What's good? It's your girl Taylor here for another video, okay? And in this one, it's a pick a card reading around career and finances. So whichever crystal stone that you feel the most drawn to, go for that one. And it's broken down in two readings. So for each one, first reading is what is source celebrating with you at this time when it comes to your career and finances? And then we're going to get into what is source really wanting you to work on and do better that will help you get closer and closer to your goals at this time in your life, okay? So with that said, if you are feeling more in alignment with group one, amethyst, go for that one. If you're feeling more in alignment with group two, rose quartz, go for this. And then we have pyrite. So if you're feeling most drawn and connected to pyrite, go for group three, okay? So stay tuned and I'll see you in the reading. Peace. All right, y'all, what's up? Group one, Amethyst. Okay, so for your reading, career and finances at this time, we have adventure right away when it comes to the Knight of Wands, meaning like you are very, even though things have been, are kind of in the air and you're just waiting in the unknown for things to really fall into place, you're like this bird ready to take the leap. You've been taking leaps and going for things and striving through things, even though things haven't been necessarily where you'd want them to be. It's been a frustrating time for you, right? And you've been really aiming towards finding solutions to make things a bit easier on yourself where, you know what? No, you don't have control over the outcome. However, you're doing what you can. You're taking those actions, leaps, and and really strategizing on different ways to make life easier for yourself in terms of your career and finances. But yes, things have definitely been frustrating for you, but Source is really celebrating. Like, look, you go for it regardless, okay? No matter what, no matter how difficult it can be. You probably heard this phrase before, but I'm getting your turn that pain into purpose okay so that is what source is celebrating you at this time that's what they're celebrating with you all right y'all as far as what source is really wanting you to work more on is yes with the emu spirit animal card take you're going on these new adventures however source is really wanting to get a bit wild with it you know felt have more courage towards the things that you are really working on like have taking more risk taking more risk and having more courage and confidence within yourself and your abilities to really make it happen in terms of like it working out like having more belief in yourself and making this work because as a leader when it comes to the king of wands as you are a leader you are a leader have more compassion okay with the queen of cups towards yourself and towards your goals like you got it in you to make this happen it's just like for it to take it to the next milestone to the next leap to the next goal whatever you're working on over there and if it's your like your money situation your finances like really believing yourself getting creative tapping in get a bit wild so that way you can like do the accomplish the things that you're wanting because there are certain aspects of your career at this time that's going to provide you um more opportunities when you do that so if you are really truly showing up as a leader and your true self like it's really going to help opening up those opportunities and sometimes it's like well what does that even mean what is my true self i don't even know right but it's like these ideas that are coming through for you like you're going for the different things but source basically is not wanting you to play it safe okay don't play it safe don't play it safe take those risks in a way that's setting you up for you're and when i say take risks i don't want it to seem like yo just that doesn't mean like go and get a like a low like a crazy loan or whatever like whatever when i say take risks whatever that means for you so as you're watching this taking risks think about what is something that you know as you're looking at this like dang i really want to go for this thing i really want to make this this take this action or take this leap or ask this person this um to help me like uh, learn more about this career said career or this project or uh, i want to take this training or whatever it is that's gonna create you that like that space to be able to just go in go hard you know like because it's something there's something here that i feel like there's some resistance on on like it being able to be achievable for you to be able to really be successful in this but there's so much there's some doubt here you know and when you play it safe and you think it's gonna go like a certain way because it's something that you should be doing or need to do with quotations right it seems it may not always go the way that it's supposed to 
quote unquote, right? Sometimes you gotta skirt, skirt, skirt through the cracks and find different ways of getting through. So I hope that was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next reading. Peace hello what's up this is for group two rose quartz okay let's get to it what is source celebrating with you at this time when it comes to your career and finances you are taking action you are finding comfort within yourself and your capabilities okay you are speaking up towards the things that are no longer serving you that are things that are making the the job or the business the projects a bit more difficult and challenging and draining to the point to where you may it may have caused you to burn out a bit or compassion fatigue or anything like that like because there is a lot of emotional healing that has been going on and emotional healing is a whole journey okay and things have been kind of going a bit more smoothly in, in that department in terms of your what you've been working on so all of the things in terms of your healing journey that you've been working on has making things a bit smoother within your career as far as you really truly speaking up confidently assertively going in asking questions asking questions that are helping the career go a bit more smoothly in terms of the systems that um that you're in that's the whatever the duties are whatever the workflow is within your project business career it has been making you have been really finding ways to make things a bit easier in a way that does feel good for you at this time where it's not burning you out or draining you it's actually energizing you and fulfilling you so with that said i hope that resonates all right so for what source is really wanting you to work on at this time is allowing yourself some space for grace and not putting so much pressure on yourself for when things are when there's more rocky tides like when it gets a lit a bit more difficult within the project the business the career like whatever is going on right now it may be a bit more tough you know you are speaking your truth and you're going in and asking questions however source is really wanting you for allowing yourself some of that grace and protecting your your spark your fire being able to protect that not allowing yourself to become desensitized or numb to the struggle or the issues or putting that self-blame or going introspective in your mind i'm like yo it's your fault and this and that like no 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 okay because there's many there's when you when you put yourself out there and then if something doesn't go right right especially when you have good intentions and you tried your best that does not mean it does not take away that you tried your best if it doesn't go the way you wanted it to go it just means there might be some room for improvement on both ends whatever you're working on and and you as far as like figuring out a different strategy moving forward on the maybe adjusting the workflow a bit whatever it is it's not you as a person in your character when you are doing everything that you can to do your best your best is always enough so giving yourself the space for grace okay and space specifically with the panda spirit animal card is create a sacred space for yourself in your home and your place of work so whether it's at home or whether it's in an office or wherever it is being able to make sure that that place is comfortable and it's giving you a vibe that feels that gives you a vibe to allow you to thrive okay basically please let me know if that resonates and i'll see you in the next video peace all right, y'all, this is for Pyrite Group 3, okay? This is your reading. So we have the Eight of Swords, which represents limitations. So you see the limited themselves, they have their blindfolded. And as far as all of like the success and all the hard work, all these mountains that you have to reach, you, have, you are recognizing your own potential and your capabilities. And when it comes to that, Ace of Wands exploring, you're exploring your your own uh your own potentiality right you're exploring you're taking advantage of the different types of um oppor like opportunities you're practicing trusting yourself you're practicing trusting yourself when it comes to your career so if there's something in you that's it uh it's igniting this light the spark this fire in you you're trusting and rolling with that you're allowing yourself more and more to just go for it okay whatever that idea is whatever that thing you want to say is whoever you want to reach out to whatever you want to create and make whatever within your career you are letting your partner know you're letting your um your uh, supervisor your manager your coach 
coworkers know be that innovation like that's there okay 100 percent. and then but it's been it's been really rough though to get to this point but here you are okay and it's practice right practice makes progress all right not perfection because we are continuously evolving we're continuously liberating our souls okay and then we also have the nine of wands resilience resilience in terms of the things that you've been going through the mountains that you've been having to cross within yourself and also different experiences that you've had where it feels it felt like you failed and you felt discouraged and you felt you went introspective like damn what's wrong with me like you are you have all these things that you've been through has strengthened you to where you're at right now Source also appreciates your quietness and solitude. So quiet nourishes me. So being in your solitude, allowing yourself to be quiet, allowing yourself to do, take those deep breaths. Um, you have been doing that to connect to the present moment where you are taking your power back. Because sometimes when, let's say, we have short breaths and the things that we're going through, it kind of takes over us. And it, sometimes we allow ourselves to get small in that. And it, everything else seems so big and loud and uncontrollable. However, you've been able to really allow yourself yourself take a stand stand out being creative as that unicorn spirit animal but also when it comes to ladybug this is a time of good fortune and abundance so be willing to receive all the good things in your life and you are allowing yourself that and then as far as what is source really wanting you to work on at this time it's that overwhelm it's that sense of just when it comes to being overwhelmed, when things are a bit harder, more difficult in, within career and finances, sometimes you can get a bit, um, what I'm picking up is the rumination and going introspective and sometimes that can be a tornado and it gets deeper and bigger and bigger and you're just kind of like in this hole that's, that's created by within yourself, like an implosion type of feel, right? So it's like, um, with the with the dream seeds card, uh, what I'm just picking up is just kind of um, sometimes it can feel like you're drowning in that. And source is really wanting you to uh, when it comes to what was celebrating a bit is just that quietness. Like that's when you find your power. That's when you're able to really ground yourself. So practice more of that. Practice grounding yourself because that's when you have your power. That's when you're in control over your own emotions, over your own potentiality. Like when it your beliefs. Because the thoughts that sh 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 the thoughts that come through, whether it's from outside or inside, like it's things that are not always fact. Sometimes they're the stories that we tell ourselves or that we don't have to believe everything we hear from ourselves or from others. Okay? Just because it's said does not mean that it's true. There's always room for improvement and source is really wanting you to be able to take your, your, your personal growth, your personal growth, that's your strength. All the things that you've been through that got you to where you're at right now has led you to where you're at right now, okay? You are powerful. You are a powerful being, okay? Beyond measure, like that, um, uh, our greatest, wait, wait, wait. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure, um, uh yeah that's a beautiful that's that poem right there is so beautiful and I'm, I'm that's what's coming through that might be a powerful uh poem for you to check out but i feel that source is really wanting you to pay attention to what's happening inside of you whenever that tornado starts to hit like this soon as you as soon as you get that overwhelming feeling like tune in tap in and allow yourself to gain more control back because oh, you got it okay and reminding yourself that yeah you are a badass you should like go for it okay you you doing the damn thing okay okay keep that bounce back bounce back to purpose y'all all right <laughs> hope that resonates please let me know peace